Hello, today we shall discuss about slip velocity. It is also called as cuttings slip velocity. So the importance of discussing about the slip velocity is it gives us an idea about the whole cleaning. So we come first we will we'll discuss about what is a slip velocity. Slip velocity is a velocity of a drill cutting that is these cuttings are generated by a drill bit while drilling and the, this is the velocity of a drill cutting that is traveling in the annulus. It is termed as a cutting slip velocity or a slip velocity. So when the drilling fluid is bringing the cuttings from the, fo from the formation, it will be bringing the cuttings through annulus and brings it to the surface. When these cuttings are flowing in the annulus, these cuttings will tend to fall down due to the gravity. These will try to settle down as a cutting. Cutting these will tend to settle down as a cutting beds. And these cutting beds need to be cleaned. So that is the reason we are studying about the slip velocity. So if these cutting beds are settling down in the well bore, these causes a major problems like stuck pipe. The stuck pipe major causes due to the lack of clearance between a BHA, BHA and hole. These cuttings will decrease the clearance between BHA and hole. Also by this cutting bed settling the gauge of the hole gauge of the hole will be lessened so these are the common problems of a uh, cutting bits and we can monitor easily monitor these problems and we can easily control these problems by calculating the slip velocity so slip velocity is mainly depends upon three factors three factors first is cutting size a cutting size is more if the cutting size is more the cuttings will settle down while they are coming in the annulus they are coming in the annulus if the cutting density or cutting size is more they will likely more tend to go down due to the gravity so this is a this is a point we need to keep in mind and second is mud weight if there is high mud weight if there is high mud weight these cuttings will be floating due to buoyancy and third point is mud viscosity if the mud viscosity is higher thus cuttings will be suspended these cuttings will be swept out of the well through the annulus and these cuttings will be taken out from the annulus and to the surface by a drilling fluid so these are the three main things we have to keep monitoring while we are there while there is a problem in cutting slip velocity so how we can calculate this cutting slip velocity so to calculate the cutting slip velocity we have we have two methods two methods for calculating slip velocity for calculating the slip velocity So first we discuss method one. In this method one, first we are going to calculate annular velocity. Annular velocity. This is the velocity of a drilling fluid flowing in the annulus. So once the drilling fluid is coming out of the drill bit, it will be holding these cuttings, it will be carrying these cuttings in the annulus 
to the surface so in order to calculate this angular velocity uh, it can be calculated by by knowing the pump output pump output divided by annular capacity annular capacity A pump output pump output is sometimes given as gallon per minute or barrel per minute so for units units uh, one we have to uh, know the units thoroughly one barrel or us barrel is equal to 42 us gallons one gallon is equal to 3.78 liters and one barrel is equal to 158 liters okay so depending upon the factor which they had given depending upon the pump output pump output depending upon the pump output we would substitute the same so annular annular capacity annular capacity can be calculated as annular capacity is capacity of annulus which we can be calculated as diameter dh square minus dp square by 1029.4 which will give the capacity in barrel per feet if you want the same in in gallon per feet you can go with dh square minus dp square by 24.5 so if we substitute the same in the annular velocity annular velocity in feet per minute is equal to q which is in gallon per minute into 24.5 divided by dh square minus dp square as q is the flow rate dh square is diameter of hole in inches and dp square and sorry dp dp is dia of drill pipe of drill pipe in inches sorry this is also dh so so the formula is annular velocity in feet per minute is equal to q in gallon per minute into 24.5 divided by dh square that is diameter of hole minus dp square that is drill pipe diameter so here you will get the annular velocity which is step one so step two in step two we are going to calculate the slip velocity step two is slip velocity which can be calculated by using the formula uh, 